everyone quick little video here did a fun project this saturday afternoon uh, from some stuff i got in the mail from surplus shed picked up a couple beam splitters and a couple of these uh, uh uncoated glass flats here and thought i might have a stab at getting them to do a little interference so this is a dog meat uh, white light interferometer literally just using a flashlight as the as the light source here. Um, microscope objective that the, the beam splitter is connected to are glued to and then it's going into my uh, my astrophotography camera but I'm just using that as a nice controllable USB webcam. The uh, measuring arm is on uh, my Parker stage that has the 10 nanometer resolution that's hooked up to the Ioni servo drive and that's servoing. That's that noise you hear. And then I've got this tip tilt base for the other mirror. And uh, here's what I'm looking at. So this this here is just the, the piece of tape that you see on the moving mirror that I literally just put on there for um, alignment purposes just so I could like see where the, the glass was. This was the hardest piece of optical alignment I've ever done. It's just extraordinarily sensitive. Um, here you can see here I'll zoom out. I'll just put some put a little force on the table and you can see the uh, fringes moving there. Pretty neat. I tap the vibration really destroys it. Uh, but uh, yeah, but because it's uh, actually connected to the stage, I can can move it. So that's one direction. You can see the fringe contrast start to fade as we get farther and farther away from the the point of best contrast, and the coherence uh, length starts to be exceeded. Go the other way. So if you if you notice, I don't these numbers. I don't think this stage has been. I, I messed up somewhere in my setup. I'm pretty sure those are a factor of ten off. Um, so those were five micron moves I was just doing. Anyways, I'll, I'll fix that later. But yeah, I just thought this was kind of interesting. I might actually. Uh, I didn't think this would work as well as it did, and I'd be able to get fringes like that. Um, this kind of motivates me to actually try and write a little code and turn this into a, a scanning white light interferometer for, for a surface roughness measurement. I think that'd be kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.